Hey, what is up, Internet? Kyle here, Slapshot Toys, and finally getting to do, I know I've teased this for quite some time, but finally getting to do my favorite video of the year, and that is my collection tour video. Uh, I did one last year in January, I think it was around January, so I figured I might as well go ahead and show you what I've collected over this past year, show you the updates I've made, uh, added some details, some of those type of things. So can't wait to show it to you. So I'm gonna be able to show you my office, uh, my cave, man cave down here that I'm currently in, and I'm also actually gonna show my wife's amazing Harry Potter collection uh, all sorts of awesome stuff in there so let's not delay this any further uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start off in the office so to the office all right and this is actually my home office this is where I spend most of my time when I'm working and this is actually my Star Wars slash comic room uh, I was running out of stuff down in the basement so I decided to move it up here since I spent a lot of time up here anyway I'm sure the wife wasn't thrilled that I took over another room but this is my indie comic Star Wars room uh, so first thing I want to show you guys is is going to be this art on the wall and this is all indie comic art so we have a drawing of rumble covered to seven to eternity we have a page from curse words to maria from deadly class invincible uh so this is where i actually hang all of my indie comic art uh the plan is to basically move all that all the way over so as i collect more i'll just keep framing it and then slowly move it all over the wall uh come down here first little kind of figure selection is my dr who pops so you can see here i have the tardis i had david tennant i had matt smith i have the war doctor cyberman have the uh, weaving angel and then a dalek uh and then coming over here is actually my little spawn collection and this is one thing i really want to grow a lot more of in 2019 uh, by a violator angela uh, i forget what spawn that is i want to say that was like a uh like a uh, prehistoric time spawn uh we have the normal spawn from the color tops the commando spawn from the color tops and i think it was spawn two from the original second series line and then i had medieval spawn carded right there hanging up basically i want to get the rest of series one and have those all hanging as well uh here i have some more pops i also have two invisible figures i love these guys uh i love that book so I had to get these figures and I love this bloody version. The thing just looks amazing. And if you know anything about Invisible, it's an extremely, extremely violent comic book. So then I also have the entire wave of Saga Pops. So have everyone, all the Alanas, all the Gusses, all the Prince Robots, have all the Lion Cats down there with Isabel. Uh, so yeah, so I have that entire wave. And then this is my comic trade collection. So basically this entire top two shelves and half of this third shelf is nothing but indie image dark horse boom uh basically my indie books uh right there's batman down there's marvel so daredevil star wars spider-man whatever i collect from there and then on this wall i do have two gritted comics so this is curse words number one the one in 50 variant uh, this is signed by both Charles Sewell and Ryan Brown. And then over here we have Deadly Class number one, which is my all-time favorite comic book. So a massive, 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 can't say it enough, massive shout out to Nate Simmons. Uh, he got this for me and it's signed by Rick Remender. Uh, yeah, super beyond happy to uh, have that piece. And then what I'm going to do is actually have a bunch more uh, signed comics and things like that. I am going to frame them and just kind of line this wall next to my bookshelf with them. And then coming over here is my actual Star Wars collection. So as you can see, I have the three original trilogy posters right there. I love those things. I think I found those at Hobby Lobby like for like 10 bucks. Uh, absolutely love them. Uh, coming down here. So this is basically going to be the start of my figure collection. So what we have is the Boba Fett, uh, the Darth Vader, and the Stormtrooper, all from the Disney Store Elite series. Uh, those are the die cast figures that they sell in the Disney stores. I also have Rey, Kylo, uh, the last Jedi Kylo, one of the uh, Patronian, uh, pronounced, sorry, pronunciation guards, and one of the First Order Stormtroopers. So these are all die cast metal. I like the line. Honestly, I wish I would have kept them in box just because they're so heavy that they keep falling over. And I think they look a lot better in box, uh, but I did take them out. And then we do have the pops from basically those corresponding characters. So we got Poe, Finn, Kylo, Kylo, BB-8, Ray. Got the Cloud City scene right there. Got a couple different Lukes couple vaders and don't have a boba vet pop and then coming down here i have like a little hoss scene set up i have a little java palace set up 
And then I have just kind of two random Star Wars pops I have. And then I have Obi-Wan and two Yodas. I really like that Spirit Yoda. I think that's a really cool one. It does glow in the dark. And then uh, coming over here, I do have some three and three quarter Star Wars. So we have Luke Leia, one of the scout troopers on the bikes. Uh, these were all actually gifted to me from a good friend. Uh, so yeah, that's where I got this collection from. Got some Luke's uh, and then we have Yoda and Vader. Coming down here, we have some of the prequel figures. And then over here we have Jabba, we have Han, we have Guido who fell down, and then we have R2-D2, uh, the early version of C-3PO, a Jawa, and then a medical droid. And up here I have a couple beasts and a carded Ewok set. Uh, yeah, just kind of randomly on top of this detolf. But now probably you guys are really interested in, uh, here's the Star Wars Hot Toys collection. Uh, so what I have here is the uh, Last Jedi Ray. I uh, really like this figure. I think it's a really good head sculpt with Daisy Ridley. Some cool poses, cool accessories. You do get the porgs right there. Uh, so yeah, I really like this version of Rey. And then from The Force Awakens, we have this Kylo Ren. Uh, I like this one a little bit better than the new one just because I really like the robes, uh, the costume, and I love the helmet. Uh, so yeah, I was really happy to get this guy. Uh, yeah, just really menacing looking. Really, really like that figure. And I actually won this one through Sideshow Collectibles, so I thought that was really cool. And then I do have a First Order Stormtrooper right there. And then those are all the new, I guess, trilogy figures that I have as far as Hot Toys. And then coming over here to the second Star Wars Hot Toys case. Uh, and I still need to actually light these cases. Uh, downstairs, you guys will see I actually have lights on all of them, but up here I have yet to do that. But up here we have, this is actually Sideshow, not Hot Toys, uh, Darth Vader. And I believe he's from The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, that is the Return of the Jedi Luke from Hot Toys. Really like that figure, and this is my favorite version of Luke. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, coming down here to the next shelf, we have the original um, A New Hope Han, and we have, I believe, the Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett. Both of these figures are amazing. I think the face sculpt on that Han looks amazing. I love this like kind of little gunslinger pose I have him in. I think he looks really cool. I just absolutely love this Boba Fett figure. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. It was actually in my top 10 of 2018 for Hot Toys. Um, yeah, just a fantastic figure. Coming down here, we have Hoth Leia. This is actually my favorite version of Leia. So this was the figure I really, really wanted to have to represent her in my Star Wars Hot Toys collection. And yeah, she did not disappoint, looks phenomenal. And then coming down here, we have R2, D2, and C-3PO. And now these are actually from Sideshow, not Hot Toys, but they scale extremely well. The detail's fantastic. The only kind of issue I have with this R2, D2 uh, is that this door just kind of keeps coming undone. There's supposed to be a magnet holding it together, but yeah, every once in a while when I look at it, that door is open. And the only other thing is they are not die cast. They are all plastic, so they're a little bit light. They don't feel that premium quality feel but the detail articulation all that for you know the droids and things like that is fantastic so can't complain too much with these figures and now coming down to my actual hockey slash comic whatever you want to call it cave uh yeah this is the main portion of my collection where i keep all my superhero stuff uh so first thing i'm going to show you is going to be my spider-man collection so what we have here is just an art print from neil adams actually signed to me got some original art do have spider-man 200 signed by stan lee uh ryan stegman piece i got c22 this year i absolutely love uh, another piece from Spider-Man, I believe that was Jeremy Ward. Uh, I think he is a local artist. I got that a couple years ago at a convention. Uh, and then just some more art. Uh, Brian Level Venom, which looks amazing. And yeah, so as far as the actual figures, so this is my little humble Spider-Man collection. So I have the Play Arts Kai Venom. Uh, and this is just like a Titans hero Spider-Man that a, a good friend of mine bought me. And then the Legend Spider-Man, the 12 inch, and then the Polaris Kai Spider-Man. Love all these figures. Now the rest of this is kind of a mix between Marvel Legends and Marvel Selects, and I guess a couple pops. So we have the Walmart exclusive unmasked homemade suit. You got two Spider-Gwens. You have the Legend that came with the two pack of Miles Morales from Into the Spider-Verse. And we also have the Select Spider-Gwen. Uh, we have the, I believe that's the Select Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, that I think, was that a Disney Store exclusive? I don't remember. I remember I bought it at the Disney Store, but I don't remember if it was actually a Disney Store exclusive or not, but I love that coloring. You have the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man. Uh, coming over here, you have the Black Suit Legend. You have the Spider-Man that actually came with the Vulture in the Marvel Legends 2 pack. You have the Black Suit Spider-Man pop. That was a Walgreens exclusive. You have just a normal Spider-Man pop. 
We have the Superior Spider-Man legend right there. A uh, huge thank you to Josh Pence. Uh, he actually hooked me up with this Spider-Punk that I absolutely love. So got Spider-Punk right there, Spider-Man 299, and we have the Spider-Noir, and then the Superior Spider-Man pop. Uh, and then that's like, like a little mystery mini anti-venom and a random eraser that a friend of ours actually gave me just because I knew I like Spider-Man so much. So yeah, so that is my little kind of Spider-Man collection. Coming down here to the villains, I have the Taskmaster legend as well as the Venom legend as well as their corresponding pops. Uh, over here, we have Shocker, Mysterio, uh, Vulture, and Doc Ock. Doc Ock and Mysterio are two of my favorite figures of the year. I love these two legends. Definitely happy to have them in my collection. Just coming down here, we have the Marvel Select Green Goblin and his pop. And then we also have the Marvel Select Venom and Carnage. Yeah, both love both of these figures. Although I've gotten out of the select line and kind of focus a little bit more on Legends as of late. And then kind of continuing on with the Pops and Legends, this is a Deadpool Select, uh, a couple of random Deadpool Pops uh, and a plushie that I actually have gotten over time. Uh, this is my Daredevil collection. So what we have here is the Shadowland Daredevil, the first appearance devil, and then the Bullseye Legend. And then we have the Netflix, uh, the Netflix Daredevil, and then the Ben Affleck uh, Toy Biz uh, Daredevil Legend, and then a couple Daredevil Pops. Uh, I really, like, I'm not a big pop guy anymore, but this is one of my, still one of my favorite pops. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. Really like that red suit Daredevil. Uh, and then coming down here, we do have some Captain America, Iron Man, kind of just random Avengers stuff. Art, I do want to show you up here. This is uh, Steve McNevin, the actual artist for the original Civil War. Uh, met him at the Cincinnati Comic Expo, and he did this amazing battle damage cap for me. Uh, absolutely love that. I uh, do have a Deadpool page from Deadpool and the Mercs of Money. I think it's issue six, I think it is. Uh, yeah, issue six, page one. Uh, so he has Daredevil, or not Daredevil, Deadpool playing with uh, action figures. So I thought that was a perfect page to own. Brian Levels, the artist on that. And then I have a Daredevil piece from Sean Forney right there. And then just kind of coming down here, we have a couple Marvel Selects uh, back there. We have the Civil War. I think that's the uh, Avenging Captain America, the classic Captain America, and then the Winter Soldier stealth suit. And then over here, we have Crossbones and just a bunch of random kind of Captain America pops. Do have the World War II Captain America that was the uh, Emerald City Comic Con exclusive. Uh, a couple Iron Man and Vision, just kind of random collectibles. That is uh, a Marvel Select Iron Man and then the Civil War Marvel Select Iron Man. Have the Hulkbuster pop right there, Ultron, just a bunch of kind of random Iron Man pops. Uh, now most of this is all Marvel Select and pops as well. So we have Hawkeye, Ant-Man, and I believe that was the Age of Ultron Thor. Uh, their corresponding pops and just some other kind of random figures I've gotten in different boxes and things like that. Uh, coming over here, we have Captain Winter Soldier and then just a bunch of the Civil War pops. Coming down here is my little Hulk shelf. So we have the Gladiator Hulk, we have the Normal Hulk, and then we have the Age of Ultron uh, Select. And then that's actually a Savage Hulk. And you can't really see it on the side, but that is actually signed by Mark Ruffalo. Uh, I won that through Midtown Comics. Their podcast was doing a little... I don't know, like kind of not drawing, but you called in, did your best Hawk impersonation, and I actually won that figure, so that was really cool. And then uh, over here we have some Doctor Strange, Marvel Select, and Pop. All right, now as far as Hot Toys and Marvel, uh, first one is this Gladiator Hawk. This thing is massive. It's amazing. It's the presence it has is so freaking cool. Uh, absolutely love this figure. I yeah, <laughs> this is one of my favorite figures of 2018. Uh, it's, it's an absolutely amazing piece. Uh, and then coming down here, so what I've actually done is, uh, as far as my Marvel, uh, cases, I've actually kind of organized them, uh, basically by the type of character. So in here I have more of like the New York City ground level heroes. Uh, this case is all kind of cosmic galaxy type heroes. And then we have kind of the main Avengers in this case right here. So that is kind of how I have them sorted out. So there's a little bit of a rhyme and reason to it. Uh, so the first one here is Iron Spider. Uh, just got this one back in December. Love this figure. The suit is amazing. The head sculpt is awesome. And the arms are unbelievable. Absolutely love this figure. I think it looks so freaking cool. Uh, super happy to have that in my collection. Coming down here, I do have the two Spider-Men from uh, Homecoming. So we have, obviously, the homemade suit and the tech suit. 
Uh, both these figures I love, but I, I think the uh, homemade suit is one of my favorites in my entire collection, just because of how poseable he is. I know right now I kind of have him in a very vanilla pose, uh, but there for like a really long time I had him like hanging upside down off the top of one of the detolfs and just so much fun to like mess around with that figure and the face sculpt looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, absolutely love that figure. Uh, and same with the tech suit Spider-Man. Um, can't pose him around as much with the limitations of the suit, but I mean, just all the detailing and everything just looks fantastic. Uh, coming down, we do have Daredevil from Netflix. Uh, this is one figure that has really grown on me since I've gotten it. When I first got it, I was a little bit disappointed, but the more I've like, kind of messed around with him, I've gotten into this like really cool poses right here. Uh, yeah, I really like this figure. I think the face sculpt and everything looks really good. All the detailing looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, I mean, for as kind of limited as the Netflix suit is, uh, I think I always did a really good job with it. And then one of my favorite figures of 2017, we have the John Barenthal Punisher from Netflix, um, Daredevil Season 2. And yeah, this thing is just amazing. Love that face sculpt, all the body armor, everything that is just detailed beautifully on this figure. This is just one amazing piece to have in my collection. And coming over to the Cosmic Case, we have Gladiator Thor, uh, much like Gladiator Hulk, just all of the detailing on this figure looks absolutely amazing. I think Hot Toys did a fantastic job with it. Uh, another one of my favorites in my collection. Absolutely love this guy. Uh, eventually, I want to actually get him off the top. And the wife's been talking about getting like a high top table down here. Uh, so I may put those two like kind of facing off. I think that would look pretty cool. Uh, one shelf down, we have the original Doctor Strange from the Doctor Strange movie. Uh, another one of my favorite pieces. Uh, this figure was phenomenal. Uh, everything about it. I mean, just that sculpt looks gorgeous. All the amazing accessories it comes with. Uh, so easy to pose, no real damage to the suit, like there's no fear of that at all. Uh, the wired in the cape makes it that much better that you can get it in the poses you want. Uh, yeah, just a fantastic figure. Uh, coming down here, we do have the original Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord. Uh, right now I have him obviously with the helmet on. I do really like that look as a little bit better than the actual Chris Pratt head sculpt. It looks really good. I just personally really like that mask. Uh, but yeah, this was a amazing pickup I got at the toy department. Uh, absolutely love this figure as well. So many cool details on it. Uh, really happy to have it in my collection. Uh, and then I also picked up the same day uh, this two-pack of Angry Groot. Uh, he comes with a normal face too, but I like the Angry one a little bit better. So you have Groot and Rocket. And once again, these guys, I mean, just the detailing there on Groot just looks amazing. Just stunning how much detail and everything they got in this guy um just phenomenal i mean just look at that face sculpt and how angry and everything he looks just unbelievable uh same with rocket i mean he just looks fantastic as well love that giant gun so yeah the only two i'm missing are uh, gamora and Drax, and then i'll have the entire guardian set and coming over to the avengers case we have the uh, infinity war captain america so yeah, really cool piece right here. Absolutely love this figure. Love all the detailing and battle damage and everything that they have throughout this suit. Uh, yeah, I think he's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely love him. Uh, then coming down to the next shelf, we have two Civil War characters. So we have uh, Civil War Cap and Civil War uh, Winter Soldier. So yeah, absolutely love these guys as well. Uh, the detailing and everything on these are fantastic. Really like that I can keep his mask version on and have that be the unmasked so it looks really, really good. I do think I'm going to change his pose out here probably, I don't know, maybe tonight and put this shield on his arm. I've had it on his back for quite some time. So yeah, probably change that out, put it on his arm. And I absolutely love this Bucky Winter Soldier. This thing looks amazing. Uh, I mean, that arm looks fantastic. The weapons he came with, the face sculpt, everything looks good. I am super interested in the uh, Infinity War version. I uh, would really like to see how that comes out. That may be one that I have to get in my collection as well, uh, but we will see. And then coming down here, we have the Mark 45 from Age of Ultron. Uh, so yeah, this figure was the Iron Man that I picked up a couple years ago. Really, really like this piece. All right, and now it's time for the kind of pride and joy of my collection, and that is my Batman collection. So kind of starting things off, I do have a couple pops right here. I have the Imposter Joker. I uh, just had a thing. It's a BVS Batman pop. Uh, I was able to find this at a toy show in Columbus, Ohio. Got it for an amazing deal. Uh, it is the G Jim. Uh, can't talk. It is the Jim Lee sketch figure. So basically, this figure is meant to look like a pencil sketch from Jim Lee's art. And there's an example of his art right there. Uh, yeah, this was one figure I absolutely love. Uh, 
so happy I was able to get it. And then I do have the black chrome Batman right there. Uh, now taking a look actually at my art, I was able to finish my art wall here just recently. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm still going to collect Batman art, but I'm just going to kind of rotate it out. Uh, the only two that will not ever be rotated out uh, is the Jason Fabic head, head shot right there. So that's one piece that will always be behind glass. I, yeah, absolutely love that piece. He's my, one of my favorite Batman artists. Tim and Capullo are probably right there side by side. And then this print from Greg Capullo is actually signed by Capullo and Scott Snyder. Uh, so yeah, those are the two pieces that will never leave this wall. Uh, everything else I'll probably rotate in and out as I collect new pieces. Um, so yeah, so that's my little Batman art wall. And then as far as like kind of my actual collection of figures, so we have the Greg Capullo designer series. Uh, that's one line I'm actually currently working on getting as much of from as I can. So I was able to find this Thrasher suit Batman, have the uh, Zero Year Batman, and then just the standard Capullo uh, suit Batman. Have a couple pops. So we have the Steampunk bat Batman, which was I believe a Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, have the Batman Returns uh, figure. And then I have the Arkham Knight, I believe that is. And then the uh, just 18 bit Batman, have a little Mashable guy right there. Uh, have the Justice League Tactical Suit Batman. Uh, this was the Jason Fabric uh, Rebirth branded uh, DC icon figure. Uh, obviously, the animated Batman. Have two of the Dark Knight Batman right there. Uh, have the 18 or the 16 bit, not 18 bit. Uh, video game version where he's the blue and purple and then I have the NECA video game Batman right there Love that figure as well uh, Come down here to these shells. I have a couple player. It's Kai. So this is the Arkham Knight uh, Figure and then we also have the Wild West Batman. This is a DC collectibles Arkham Knight Batman figure I really like Batman Arkham Knight in case you can't tell uh, and then just a random Deathstroke pop uh, I've got some Joker figures right here. So we got the animated series the Greg Capullo designer series And then we have the Riddler from Greg Capullo and then that's a Batman Returns Catwoman and just a 16-bit uh, Joker as well. Come down here to some other movie figures. We have the uh, Mattel DC Universe Batman Forever Val Kilmer Batman. And then we have the Barbie, believe it or not, Black Label series uh, BBS Batman. And then this is kind of like my Dark Knight Returns collection. So we have the Mayfex 2.0. Christian Bale, Batman right there. Uh, we have the Polaris Kai version. We have a little Mezco guy, and then just a couple Hot Wheels from the uh, vehicles from the movie. And then the thing I'm collecting the most of right now and trying to get the entire line is the Batman Returns carded figures. Uh, so, so far I have the Arctic Batman, the Air Attack Batman, the Deep Dive Batman, and then the Toys R Us exclusive Polar Blast Batman. And now the Hot Toys for Batman. First off, we have the Justice League Tactical Suit Batman. Uh, this is probably, I don't know, like the more I look at this, the more this is becoming my favorite Batman figure in my entire Batman collection. I freaking love this suit. Like I'm a sucker for armored plated Batman and this one is absolutely amazing. The detail that they have in this thing is unreal. Uh, coming down to the next shelf, we do have the BBS Batman. So this is the black chrome sideshow exclusive version and then just the normal version of the BBS suit. Uh, both these figures I really, really like. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot else to say about them. Uh, and then coming down here, we actually have the Bank Robber Joker, uh, Heath Ledger 2.0, and then the Batman Begins, uh, Christian Bale Batman. Huge shout out to uh, Big Dub uh, for hooking me up with this uh, Batman Begins uh, Batman. And then, yeah, this figure I was able to pick up at the Cincinnati Comic Expo. Um, love this version of the Joker. Would like to get the, was it, I think, DX11? I think that's what the other Joker is. Um, the one raising like the purple coat and everything. Wouldn't mind getting that at some point, but uh, yeah, definitely uh, happy to at least have this one in my collection. And then the figure that started it all, my first ever hot toy, my favorite Batman, my favorite Batman movie, just everything. Uh, the Michael Keaton Batman Returns uh, Batman figure. Uh, yeah, this was the first hot toy I ever picked up. This is what started this whole madness. And still one of my favorites in my collection. Like I said, still my all-time favorite Batman movie. Absolutely love this movie, this figure. Yeah, just phenomenal. 
And then just to kind of show you guys, so what I do is I actually have all my movie Batman in this case, all my video game and comic Batman in this case. Uh, so eventually I'm going to actually have to get another Detoff and put the movies in a third one or a second one, third overall. But yeah, so right now that's how it's all sorted. Uh, but as far as the comic Arkham video game series case, uh, this is the Sideshow Collectibles uh, Silver Age Batman figure. Uh, I just recently got this one maybe like a week or two ago. Still absolutely love in love with this figure. It's exactly what I wanted for a six scale Batman representation. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, then coming down here, as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of the Arkham series video games. Uh, so this is both the Arkham Knight normal version and the Arkham Knight Future Knight version. Uh, these figures are basically identical except for paint jobs, but they're absolutely amazing. Uh, and then going with the Arkham theme, we have the Arkham Asylum Joker. Uh, and same thing, this was actually my figure of the year for 2018. This is... I, I, I can't tell you how much I love this figure because it, it represents a comic version of Joker that I, I don't know if we're going to ever get from Hot Toys. And this thing just looks... I mean, just look how sinister and evil that looks. And uh, it, just, it just reminds me so much of like the Greg Capullo Joker. Just, yeah, I absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, like I said, figure of the year for me for 2018. Absolutely love it. And then we have the Arkham Knight uh, down here. And once again, since I'm a sucker for armor plating Batman characters, uh, this one was definitely one that I absolutely love. Uh, it's got all that detail there on the actual helmet. Uh, all the armor plating, everything looks fantastic. All the details with the straps and weapons and accessories. It's just, yeah, fantastic figure. All right, and last but not least, I know some people have actually uh, shown some interest in this in my last collection video, and this is my wife's collection. Uh, so this is her little library room, so I'm going to show you, yeah, basically her entire Pop and Lego collection. Alright, so bear with me. Uh, my wife is out of town on business, so I'm going to do this the best I can. She is super into Harry Potter, as you could, as if you couldn't tell here. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot about Harry Potter, so I'm going to do my best to kind of tell you what these things are, but I honestly don't know. So, <laughs> yeah, bear with me, please. Uh, I do know this is Ron. Ron Weasley on uh, a chess piece, I believe it was in the movie. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys get some good laughs out of this, uh, me trying to explain Harry Potter, but I actually really like this pop. Uh, I think that thing looks amazing with him actually like on there. Uh, it looks really cool. And then, so I believe she has these set up by movie, I think. Uh, but yeah, so there's that giant snake that they fought. Um, I, I think that's Tom. Is that... Voldemort before he's like actually Voldemort I think uh don't know I want to say I should know but I don't know <laughs> this is I'm sorry this is <laughs> this is awful uh that's Dobby uh let's see here we got some Harry Potter Hermione and another Ron uh, so we got Ron with some chattering Joker teeth uh I got a Hermione with a prom pr promotion potion uh, and then we have Harry in a sling and pajamas. Uh, and then back there is actually, uh, I think two Christmases ago, uh, I bought my wife a ton of the uh, Noble Collection wands. I forget which one. I think it might be Hermione. I don't remember which one it is. I'm really sorry about this. This is probably the least informative collection video ever. Uh, but here we have some more. Hermione looks battle damaged. Harry with a map of some sort. Some sort of gypsy woman. Looks like Ron. Uh, I think that's Sirius Black. I think I know that one. That guy's got a messed up face. So I'm assuming that he's been in some sort of battle. Uh, <laughs> and then we have some guy with like moles on his face. And like claws it looks like. So yeah. Uh, and I've seen the movie. So I should like I, like I recognize these characters. But I have no idea like what their names are. So. Uh, I think that's like a five-star Funko, a Harry Potter thing. It looks really cool. Another Dorby. Uh, that's like, what, Nearly Headless Nick, I think? Uh, one of these was the glow-in-the-dark, like, exclusive version. Uh, this was really cool. We bought this at a, like, local craft fair. Someone made, like, a... It's the actual Harry Potter, I think, Sorcerer's Stone book. And they, like, folded the pages up to look like the Harry Potter logo. I thought that was really cool. And then a couple more of the ghosts. Uh, that's a Hagrid. I know him with a cake. Yeah, I know one. Uh, that's Voldemort. I know him. Uh, Harry Potter, I know that one really well. Uh, that's, I think, was it Mad-Eye Moody? I think I may have got that one right. 
Uh, then a couple more of the Weasleys uh, on Quidditch attire. I think that's Luna Lovegood. And then you have Dumbledore and Snape. And then, uh, not, oh shoot, uh, Malfoy? Lucius, I think? Ah, uh, sure. Uh, I quit Harry Potter, uh, then I guess that's Hermione in a ball gown, and I'm, I, I guess that's one of the Weasleys. Uh, and then we have, I believe that's Dumbledore's wand uh, back there. She kind of has them hidden there with the uh, pops. Uh, and then some more Harry Potter for you. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys are just enjoying this uh, by like kind of seeing what she has since I'm not actually giving any information. But a bunch more Harry Potters. Uh, I think that's another serious Black. Maybe that's not a Luna Love Good. Uh, some Harry's, some Hermione's. It's got some sorting hats. Uh, you got the one guy that has the board mortar on the back of his head. That's a really cool pop. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the uh, non flocked version of Hedwig. Some more Harry's. Got some cauldron that they're putting a Harry or some other character into. So coming up here, we have the uh, train station pop. I uh, I like woke up at like one in the morning thinking this one was gonna be really hard to get to buy it for, and uh, woke up, bought it, and then like wake up the next morning and it was like available for like the next like ten days. So uh, <laughs> didn't have to do that, but you know, it's a thought that counts, right? Uh, then we do have a Star Ace uh, toy right here, one six scale Harry Potter. Uh, she's got them kind of on a flying pose with Hedwig. Uh, that looks really cool. Uh, I'm interested to see now that Hot Toys uh, has the Harry Potter license, uh, if they do a whole line of Harry Potter or uh, what's going to happen with that. So yeah, there's uh, Star Race, one six scale Harry Potter. Uh, my wife's been really into Legos lately, so we picked up some of the Brickheads, which are basically Legos version of Pop. So we have Ron. Uh, goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. Uh, Oh, Dumbledore. Good God, that took me way too long to figure out. And Hermione. And then she bought this like little Lego set, some giant spider and Harry and Ron. All right, and then kind of continuing on with Harry Potter, uh, this is the uh, Crimes of Grindelwald Fantastic Beasts section that she has. So she has the screenplay right there. Uh, a couple of the creatures got some new stones. I never actually noticed that one. That's kind of cool. He's actually standing in his little briefcase. Uh, but yeah, he's coming over here. Got some more newts. Uh, Got the chase of Newt, uh, got the, I guess, Nifflers, I think those were called. Uh, she did get the uh, Swooper, the Flock Swooper from the Funko Shop. Uh, I think that's another Flocked one, or maybe that one is, I don't, I don't know what's Flocked and what isn't. Uh, but yeah, I know that's just a Funko Shop exclusive. I think that one is Flocked. Uh, got a Snake, no idea what those two things are. Uh, some sort of, that's Giant Depp's character, uh, Grindelwald. Uh, and then some other creatures, and she did get the... Uh, little kind of like I don't know movie scene with that and that horse thing uh so yeah coming down to the second line I think this is actually more of the first movie so there's all the characters from the first movie yeah she does have the brick heads of Grindelwald and then she does have the brick head of Newt I thought so oh yeah he's right there I'm like pointing right at him I'm looking completely different uh then they do have like the little carriage from the opening scene of Crimes of Grindelwald in Lego form uh, yeah, a couple more, uh, screenplay, and there's an Akami, and then that's Newt's wand that they're all standing on, because uh, I did get her that as well. And then looking right here, she actually does have the Star Ace, uh, one six scale Newt. Uh, this guy looks amazing as well. Uh, some really nice detail there on the soft goods and everything. Face sculpt looks pretty good. Uh, some cool accessories. You got that little thing where it looks like the Demi Geist or whatever it is is looking out, and then you have the little Niffler right there. So that is the one six scale star race newt. And like I was saying, she is super into Lego now. Uh, so this is like the great hall from Hogwarts. Uh, so she's got that all built right here. And then a bunch of the little minifigures kind of all lined up all throughout here. Uh, and then this was like a Whomping Willow, I think it was. This was another set I bought her for Christmas that she immediately put together uh, and it looks really cool. We got Hagrid in the boat. Uh, just a bunch of other little minifigures right there. And then she does have the Hogwarts uh, Express train uh, right here. This is probably my favorite Lego set that I think that she's put together. Like the Hogwarts, the, the Great Hall is really cool, but this one, I, I don't know why, it just looks really, I, I really like this one. Uh, and I was happy she was able to get it. Um, but yeah, a couple of little minifigures right there, but 
cool little Hogwarts Express. And then over here on a bookshelf, uh, this was another set I was able to get her for Christmas, and this was obviously the Quidditch set. And it's kind of cool because this, like this guy, you can actually, like there's like a little, I don't know, like lever back here, and you can move it and you can like play goalie. So that's kind of cool. All right, and kind of just finishing up and going back to the pops, these are things I actually know a little bit more about. So here we have Night Before Christmas. We have Pumpkin Jack, uh, two Sallies, and then she does have a Deadpool wizard. Uh, I thought that'd be really funny for her to buy just because uh, of it being uh, kind of looking like uh, the guy from Lord of the Rings, oh, Gandalf. And I was like, you should put that, like, because I feel like Deadpool would be a character that would actually, like, cosplay. So I feel like he would cosplay as, like, Gandalf and try to get in with the Lord of the Rings pop. She has, she has a ton of those, too. So that'd be kind of funny. But she'd put them down here. Uh, she does have a couple of the Princess Brides. She does have uh, Elton John, Conan, and Ellen. Over here are her Lord of the Rings ones. And once again, I'm not even going to try. Uh, but I will show them to you. So there are all these guys. One of these guys is Frodo. I think it's... This one or this one? Yeah, I think it's him. Uh, and then she's got the Chase of Gollum. She's got the Clear Gollum, uh, that Gollum. So yeah, so quite a few of the Lord of the Rings figures. And then she does have the uh, Thing in the Box uh, Saturday Night Live pops from uh, The Lonely Island or uh, Justin Timberlake and what's his name? Sandberg, Andy Sandberg. Uh, so we got those. She has a couple of random, uh, I think that's Westworld pops. Uh, we are big, we are huge fans of Arrested Development, so she has quite a few of uh, George Michael, Michael Bluth, Gob, and Buster. Uh, she has the entire run of the uh, Ready Player One pops right there. Coming up here, we have some Friends pops. Uh, this is the second wave. Uh, unfortunately, we missed out on the first wave, and those are like really, really expensive right now. So, yeah, just kind of sticking with the second wave. We have the new girl pops, so we have Schmidt, Nick, Jess, Cece, Winston, uh, so yeah. Uh, we're huge fans of Parks and Rec, so she has the Kimono Ron, we have the Tom and John Raffio 2-pack, uh, we have Andy and little Sebastian and April and, oh my gosh, Leslie, goodness gracious, I can't think, there's too many characters right now. Uh, right here we have Mr. Monopoly, we have... Won't you be my neighbor? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is awful. Oh my, I'm done. Uh, we have Tomo, it's just Puma. I don't know. Mr. Rogers, good lord. Uh, is it, it's one of those two, Timon or Puma. Uh, then we have her whole Disney show. Oh man, like this gets really hard. Like when you go through an entire collection like this, like thinking of characters and trying to think of all their names, this is, this is a lot harder than what you think. But we have uh, kind of a nerdy Cinderella. I, yeah, I think that's Cinderella. You have Snow White. You have Black and White Woody, Flounder, Ariel, Tinkerbell, Naboo, Raja, Jasmine, Belle, Winnie the Pooh, Aladdin, Belle, Belle, Cogsworth, 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 uh, Belle, Beast, Belle, 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 Belle. And last but not least, she actually just got these the other day. Uh, this is the whole Veep line. So we have Richard, Jonah, Selena Meyer, uh, Chase, and the normal Selena Meyer. I think it's just a different outfit. And then Gary. So I hope you guys absolutely enjoyed this little collection tour. Uh, yeah, I, I'm extremely happy with how my collection is progressing. Uh, all the figures and stuff I picked up in 2018 have been phenomenal. Uh, yeah, everything's coming together really well. So I'm sure this video is already pretty long. So I'm not going to make it any longer. So that's going to do it for me this evening. I'll thank you guys so much for checking out these videos. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.